looks like another is that a Scotch or a Spanish a Spanish opening I would guess. Luke DeVos. Yeah. I'm hoping that my wife doesn't divorce me. doesn't seem to be having too many problems. Judging by the speed. At the dinner we had uh, last night, um, one of the CEOs, Ronnie Buckland, uh, who on, on a previous year had given Gary all manner of uh, problems. Gary was in very serious trouble, but uh, unfortunately Ronnie had a business trip, so we'll see whether he's going to meet stern resistance from the the politicians and and CEOs this time. What do we have here? A little pause. It's very bad for your back, I can tell you this several hours of this. It's very frustrating. Yeah. So we've got... So we've got brother and sister here, is that right? Mira's nodding enthusiastically. I don't know why we don't have a microphone for her. It'd be nice to hear her speak a little. the fifth edition of uh, this tournament, the organizers would uh, like Kasparov to play again uh, a rapid chess match against a handsome English chess legend. But um, I think Gary's a bit nervous about that, hasn't um, agreed to it as yet. Uh, Alekhine's defense there. Classical variation. Unfortunately, it's a little bit passive for Blank, but... Oh, dear. Oh, what's that? Some very strange chest there. I'm looking on one of the boards. Thankfully, we don't have it in front of us. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, Lydia's uh, rather dubious Albin counter gambit. Strangely enough, it's played by one of the strongest, occasionally played by one of the strongest players in the world, Alexander Morozevich from Russia, who was a very creative uh, player. But, uh, his style of chess is uh, very, very difficult to imitate. So uh, we've got some um, interesting position that here with uh, Quinton Ramaka. Yeah, um, Gary's trying to squeeze him a little bit. Uh, 
here in the pause. Let's see what's happening. So we've got some, um, yeah, uh, this is just a queen, uh, bishop d5 check. Al Al Almira uh, is sitting next to me, and she says that she played almost exactly the same game. Uh, no, it is exactly the same game she played yesterday. So uh, at l uh, G Gary is repeating Almira's moves, so he should be in very good shape. But uh, he didn't. Uh, you, but you didn't win. So that you were winning. Okay. This is very irregular chess, and that's a good move actually. Queen e2 there against Johan Arnold, just um, defending his uh, e pawn. Gary sort of sees the two bishops in that that game, probably has a slight advantage. Nice to see some other positions. Tornado, isn't he? The tornado pauses. Actually, um, Black has a perfectly satisfactory position were it not for the fact that it um, seems to have fewer pieces. These are all very decent moves for Black, and I think Gary's noticed that um, I, he's not in trouble or anything like that. I mean, White has a a fine position, but he's suddenly noticed that this game is not going to be a complete walkover. Knight d2, rather an unusual move. He's trying to bring his knight into c4, so he's he's playing to change the um, the regular theme 
of this type of uh, position, so to, to pose some new problems. What have we got here? This looks like a oh, Petrov defense, if I'm not mistaken, but... Uh, having too many problems so far, it's all as anticipated. What's that? We have bishop somewhere. Bishop e6, well, um, Lydia has, um, well, she sacrificed a pawn and she's probably going to regret that. That's an interesting move. Bishop e6, trying to confuse matters. e3, Gary's just playing in a very simple way, trying to um, retain his, his pawn advantage. Um, much of this year with um, Gary Kasparov, we've been trying to take over the world. That was our, our plan for the, the year. Where we have uh, great ambitions, great egos, and um, in fact, uh, Gary was the campaign manager of uh, Anatoly Karpov for the FIDE presidency this year. And uh, I was also lending a hand. Unfortunately, we didn't win. And uh, the incumbent, Kirzan Ilyam Zhinov, a man from Kalmykia, who uh, believes he's been abducted by aliens. Uh, unfortunately, he retained the confidence of uh, 95 federations. And so, um, but we'll see what happens. I think Gary has some chess political ambitions. He's achieved everything that could be achieved in the game itself. And I'm sure he would like to do something on the, on the chess political stage as well. Shaking his head. I don't know why he's shaking his head here. I mean, his position is perfectly fine. I think he's just a bit irritated that. Um, no, I mean, you, you you go around in these simuls and you you don't know the strength of your opposition, and sometimes you play a slightly sort of second second class variation and uh, he's not played in the most incisive way